We're going to trim us our cucumbers. Ah, How about that? That's going to be pretty cucumbers. fun. Cucumbers, yeah. How about that? So what do we need to know? What do we need to do? Well, so there's several different methods that you okay. can use to train cucumbers. And we're going to kind of talk about a couple of different ones. Okay. And of course, the first thing to say is these are not going to be our most compact cucumbers, right? So <laughs> no, I mean, we're talking right. about <laughs> cucumbers that are going to have some good, um, good height or uh, right. spread on them. And so, you know, why do we, yeah. why do we train? Well, we can get the leaves up off the ground. Mm -hmm. We can get more air movement around them, which can help with leaf diseases. Okay. And let's be honest. They're a lot easier to pick. It's gonna be so much easier to <laughs> yeah. pick, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, so cucumbers are <laughs> handy because you know they have tendrils yeah. and uh, they can hold themselves neat. up a lot. Yeah. Um, so the first thing that I um, that I think would be cool to show people is how to train individual cucumbers. Cool. Okay. And so we have this nice little row here that we're going to demonstrate this on, but also keep in mind that this would work if you had a barrel on your porch and a single a plant, bat. right? Okay. So there are lots of ways that this could be scaled down to a much smaller system. Okay. And so what we have here is just, we have three T-posts which are going to provide us with the opportunity to put up a, a top wire here. All right. And um, we'd, they're definitely strong enough, right? I mean, you, <laughs> you wouldn't that. need quite <laughs> no. this much physical support, but it's certainly handy because, you know, we can do a pretty good job of getting some tension okay. uh, on this wire. And so, um, you know, this is, this is 17 gauge wire, you know, it should be, be good fine enough. for a Slow few enough. cucumbers, but just keep in mind that if you're really gonna have a lot of weight on it, you know, you're gonna need to, to have okay. a little bit uh, heavier gauge. Um, and it's easy enough so far, you just yeah. tie it around. Okay. Yeah, so so we're just kind of looping around, and I yeah. think that you may actually have the uh, the wire cutters in your back pocket. There, 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 there we go. Those. All right, go. so um, so we're just going to cut this off right here. Okay. And um, let me go ahead and twist that around there. Okay. So I brought with me a couple of the gadgets, nice. right? Yeah, from, we, we like uh, gadgets from the yeah. greenhouse world, but uh, <laughs> but these are really easy to get a hold of. So don't feel like these are inaccessible. You know, all kinds of online suppliers okay. have these. Uh, so these are just little bobbins that have a whole lot of nylon twine, right? Okay. You could these probably be enough string to last you for years. Um, and they just have a little hook here that allows them to easily clip oh, over the top of enough. a little amount of wire. Yeah. Um, and so what we're going to do is just have one bobbin for each one of our cucumber plants. Gotcha. And so um, you can get uh, little vine clips and that's certainly fine. But lots of times with cucumbers, since they have these tendrils, you don't really have to worry too much about vine clips. You can simply just... Ah, twist. Just, yeah, just wrap it around. Yeah, there. and of course, there's, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of yeah. learning to that. You don't okay. want to do it real tight and, okay. and those sorts of things, but the tendrils will soon do a pretty good job yeah. of holding that, uh, that cucumber up. And so, um, gotcha. it'll, you know, it'll continue to grow and each time it grows a little bit, you just twist it a little bit and, you know, you'll soon have the cucumber trained up very well there. Nice, now, nice, this nice. is my other favorite gadget. Okay. <laughs> you like gadgets? Yeah, yeah. So this is the saddle. And you may ask, right, what happens when the cucumber gets to the top okay. of the wire, right? So, so what does happen? Uh, we just take uh -huh. the cucumber back down the other side of the wire. And uh, this is a nice little uh, plastic clip here, which once again just goes over uh, the top of uh -huh. this metal line here. Okay. And uh, what it allows us to do is when we get this cucumber um, all the way up, then we'll just simply take ah, its little stem and, gotcha. and then it'll be able to grow back down. So we'll gotcha, have, gotcha. you know, another, what, almost five feet of growing space. Okay. Because if we just took that cucumber over the top of this thin metal, it would probably crimp it. And, gotcha. you know, so we have a nice gentle curve here. These can be reused as well. And so, oh, it's, that's smart. yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty okay. cool, cool little way okay. um, yeah, yeah. to be able to, okay. to train those cucumbers. And nice. so people have different schools of thought okay. about tendrils. Some people leave them on. Some people um, pull them off. So what do you well, do? If I'm going to be training a lot of these cucumbers vertically, vertically up close together, 
I may pull them may, okay. because what they're going to do is all grow together and okay. you know, gotcha. but it's, it's not a big concern. Okay. You can leave them, you can take them, um, either one, they will, they will provide stability. Yes. Good. If you, if you leave them. <laughs> and so, uh, so it's going to be really easy to pick. We can also see that, you know, we're starting to get, um, little blooms ah, and of course our fruit it. are going to be um, coming right out of you know those leaf axles and uh, they'll be easy to pick we'll get them up off the uh, ground and so this is a nice thing uh, way that can go you know many feet or one cucumber one cucumber how about that i like, to, I like those gadgets yeah those are really yeah. good yeah <laughs> i can see where that comes in handy yeah. too okay indoors outdoors, indoors pretty handy so it doesn't matter okay yeah all right all right so what about another method all right, so um, so this is kind of the the new farmer That's way, new right? Farmer? So now let's do all we'll do old, old farmer, school. right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go yeah old so the second method that we have here is is cattle panel. Um, so we've already got a couple of T posts that are driven. Um, I brought along my post wow. driver. How about you know, that? You just you, never know. You just so happen to have it, huh? You may need to drive <laughs> some posts. Hey, you're driving it pretty good. Oh. So I usually like to drive them until we get our little V um, into into the ground. That uh, ends up being close to a foot, so okay, that's about a foot. so that's pretty secure. And you can see, you know, we have our flat side uh -huh. where we can easily right. connect this uh, cattle panel. And so <laughs> once again, you know, your farm supply store. Uh, these are really pretty easy to get okay. a hold of. We did cut this. We did to be the right length. Okay, let's get it in here. <laughs> You must have used yeah. uh, let's use that before <laughs> a few times. Um, You're driving about, it to the yeah, ground. <laughs> about about you know once a year about I get a year. in a pretty good amount of tomato steak uh, driving, and so we have our clips here that we're going to secure okay. these panels with, and uh, we're gonna get that in place, and then we'll twist this around. Okay with our handy dandy pliers here. <laughs> All right. And there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. right, so now we're ready huh? for our third one. All right, get it up there. All right. We're just gonna secure this bottom here so that it doesn't swing. Um, I think that works. Yeah, yeah and now we've works. got a nice, that's pretty sturdy. So, um, so this will be the vertical structure that we'll be able to just train our cucumbers on. And this will be, it'll be a pretty simple process. <laughs> we'll really um, just kind of weave these young plants, get them vertically supported. And of course the tendrils will definitely do the work for us once we get going. I would definitely not worry about removing any tendrils on a plant that's growing on this okay. system. Yeah, so good. yeah. Yeah, so so it won't be very long at all before these cucumbers will be will be up and pretty much just a whole wall here. There we go. There we have yeah, it. Yep, city farmer, country farmer right here. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. We appreciate that demonstration. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.